Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Okay, the Void Elves. Yeah, see, I'm not quite sure what happened with uh, Valyria, because uh, she's um, Sylvanas' sister, actually. That's the, in, in the lore of it all, she's actually Sylvanas' sister. Okay, I've just been chucked out of that one. I was doing really well there. Where I want to go and get another one of them. Oops. Oh, you are in combat, yeah. Can I... Is there another one I can... I, if I run this way, am I able to get another one? It's the blight on the ground that's bad news for us. But I'd like to get another one of those tanks. There's one right there. Let's go here. I'll, I'll use that a second. That will heal me up. Oh, what? Bane! Pull them back! Retreat! No! They must not escape! The Horde is falling back again? What is their strategy here? That accursed blight blocks our path! Our forces can't follow her! We can't let the War Chief escape. Capturing her is the only way to win this war. Understood. We will not let you go alone. Mechatork, can your flying machines get us past this blight? I don't have many of them, but the ones I do are at your disposal! So be it. Champions, with me, Mechatork. Backtrack through the keep with the rest of our forces and station them at Brill. Be ready to strike on my command. You got it! Okay. Right, so we're gonna fly in up above. I like the uh, Illyria. She's one of the Void Elves. That's, I, I don't know the story with those, but that's the story I'd like to find out. The Light Forge, that's to do with stuff Stand that happens... Stand aside, Sarfang. This war is not yours Drenor. to bear alone. And there is no honor in killing you. Your father was a man of honor, boy. You know nothing of the sort. I will never stand down. I eat, sleep, and die by the sword. What price have you paid for your people? My father gave everything for the Alliance. The question is, are you willing to do the same for the Horde? My life for the Horde! <sighs> Okay. I don't have a target. Right, we will take him down. And if anybody's seen the stories with this, um, ultimately, uh, yeah, the, there's there's an interesting backstory with this. It's a really cool story, that, like all the way through. Go and watch on YouTube the cinematics it's for it. If you really want to know more about the storyline for all of this, watch the cinematics because there are some very very me. cool cinematics for all of this. Alliance, hold! No. I demand an honorable death. My father once said that Varok Saurfang embodied the honor of the Horde. He admired you for that. And so do I. Listen to me. There is no honor in this. That is not for an Alliance King to decide. At this moment, it is. Take him to the stockades. When I return, we will speak of honor, and how it may yet be reclaimed. If you return. Right, now we gotta go and chase after Sylvanas. We've done it. Sylvanas will finally answer for her crimes. Champions, to my side. See, I don't know where Illyria came from at this point. I don't know whether she was in Legion stuff. I think she was, and that's how she's now turned up. Look at you. 
The boy's playing soldier. Our king just routed your army. <sighs> the muzzle your dog, your majesty. Sylvanas Windrunner, you have led the Horde to a place without honor. Lordaeron is ours. It's over. Your father would be so proud. Is that his? You've gotten it all bloody. Only one of us wanted this war. You call for peace when it suits you, little lion. But you're quick enough to kill. I should have killed you when last we met. How rude, sister. You're a guest in my home. Your home? You desecrate that throne with your filth! Enough! You put the torch to Teldrassil. But I failed those who burned. I will not make that mistake again. Surrender. Or die. You've won... nothing. openings of these different expansions just get better and better and better. They really do. They, they do it so well. The only thing that I want to know is where Illyria Windrunner comes into it. Um, because obviously you've seen in there, sisters, uh, Sylvanas died many, many years ago and turned into the Banshee Queen. Um, that's a big long story in itself, but Illyria is something to do with the Void Elves, which is one of the races that we were offered over there. And so before I go and turn anything in there, I want to answer that question. Who is... What? Yeah, who is Illyria? Where does she come into it? Is she going to... Like, is there any part of that story answered over here? Because it's the Void Elves that interest me the most. That's the ones that Illyria is um, to do with. Right, so we're going to here. And this quest Patience was... Is the um, highest virtue. Learn more about them than speak to me. So we need to learn more about these. Yeah. Earn the achievements you are now prepared. Reach exalted with the Argusian Reach. Seek to harness the corruptive... Seeking to harness the corruptive magic of the void, these outcast elves endured an unexpected transformation. They are determined to master their newfound powers and resist the whispers, eager to lure them into madness. Um, tear a rift in space and teleport to a destination. Your abilities have a chance to empower you with the essence of the void. Your spell casts are not delayed by taking damage. Reduces the cost of void storage and transmogrification. Resistant to shadow damage. <laughs> So that's the different characters that you can get. So, yeah, a Void Elf, I think, would be a pretty cool one to have. Now, we've got... Kaltir... Oh, there's a Void Elf representative. We embrace a new future. It doesn't really tell us very much about the backstory of the Void Elves just yet. So, uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else from here, unless I maybe gather the... Take the quest from her to find out. Um... Yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be a great deal of information. I'm not going to take that quest, though. I don't want to embark on that bit just yet. Uh, well, 
I'll tell you what, I might do a little bit of reading and then uh, find out a little bit about the backstory of the Void Elves. But we could always do that as a thing, you know, because if, if I'm going to be logging his character every now and then, we could always do the backstory of the Void Elves as, like, my thing that I spend 30 minutes per week doing on this character. It doesn't all have to be about fishing and leveling up skills. Well, there's no real way that I can get around this. Because unfortunately, World of Warcraft is an online game, and what you do stays done. There was a complete total disaster when I did my recording session. I did two hours of recording session, like I normally do, on my Monday, and it didn't work. For, for whatever reason, I, I, I cannot establish why, um, the video file was corrupted and completely and utterly useless. So <laughs> everything I did is gone it's finished i've got I, I don't have it so i'm gonna have to give you a recap basically i mean a, a lot of you I, I i was of two minds as to whether to do the content that i did which was basically the introduction to this area here we are now into this area right here the uh cull Tiris zone in the new boa um content and then the latest expansion. So we're in we're in Cult Tiras. We've done the starting thing. A lot of you already know what that is. Pretty much everything that I've done up to this point. Um, if you go and look at my other World of Warcraft series, I did it on Frithgar anyway. So I have already done it on another character. Um, that's most of what I did. I did do a little tiny bit of cooking. I've got cooking trained, and I did do a little tiny bit. We've got six points in Cult Tiras cooking. Uh, engineering, I got a little bit done, but I haven't done anything else with that just yet. We've got a, a couple of bits in here, but we haven't actually got anything more to do with that one yet. Uh, war cash, the war resources, there's something over here I'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's, uh, let's focus on one thing at a time, professions first. Um, so then I also did a little bit of fishing. Because fishing and cooking are tied in a lot more closely, so the fishing trainer is up there. I did a little bit of fishing trained up my fishing skill just a, a little tiny bit and Kaltiran cooking a Kaltiran fishing I got that up to 16 points I thought I did quite well with that we we brought that up also I learned Kaltiran mining um so I learned engineering and I learned mining and I learned a couple of basic mining skills for mining um the monolite and the storm silver I've, I've got those and I did a little bit of fishing down there what you need to do with fishing is you fish up a fish, and then once you've fished up said fish, right? Let's let's go and do that a minute. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm gonna relive past glories. I'm going to fish up a fish right here. We've got a few items that I also went and gathered up through a, few, a couple of different quests. Most of this though is from fishing. Um, and right there, a midnight salmon. Teleport to the nearest fishing node in Kaltiris and Zandala. I didn't even know that was a thing. Right, we're going to get 200 of them. And a frenzied fang tooth. That's all I wanted. I just need that. We will use this. This will be something that we do use. But no, the the one here is the frenzied fang tooth. Now, you get several different types of fish, all of which we've got to get. But you use one of the fish, any fish, like that. And that gives you aromatic fish oil. Aromatic fish oil you need in a number of different dishes. Now, we need this in our Mondazi right here to make that. That gives us uh, 14 versatility for one hour. Now, I made 25 Mondazi. So, I got those. They're all fully established. I won't... I'm not going to do any more of that now. Um, so, next... I'm going to run around. We'll, we'll, we'll do a quick recap if I can. So, like the starting quest for the zone, I did all of that on Frithgar. That's already been done. Um, and basically, what you do is you end up getting captured in a... Pri you, you get captured, you get put into a prison... And then you get busted out of that prison by um, some other people. Uh, I'll go and show you them. Flynn is one of the guys that busts you out of prison. And then there's a woman that helps him as well. I can't remember their names. Um, so we'll go in here. We've established a portal room in here. That was one of the things that we had to do. Is we actually had to establish the portal room in here so we can easily get back to Stormwind. I set my hearthstone here in Boralus. And we go into here. I've got a couple of quests off of this ship over here. Ooh. 
was waiting for that dude, that bling tron over there. Now, there's a quick and easy way to get onto this ship. You can either jump onto there, or you can jump all the way down over here, and then click on there, and you immediately <laughs> jump up onto the side. It's really cool. Um, I actually had the Blingtron right in front of me last time, when I was doing my recording. And I went to click on him, and just as I went to click on the package, it disappeared. And that was the end of it. So, right here, the Zandalar campaign, I've got to choose a foothold, and what that does is that opens up a couple of different quest chains that you start in Zandalar. You have one that you complete in Voldoon, one that you complete in Nazmir, and one you complete in Zuldazar. Um, I've done those three on Frithgar on my own, but I haven't recorded it anywhere, so we may go and do that at some point. The other one is for this table over here, and that I need to get 100 war resources. That one I will do. This one I've put on hold. I might come back and do that one at max level. I don't know. So that's that bit. Then we came over here. You go into the... We want to go into the harbour over here. We go up through this bit of harbour right here. One thing that we have missed is a few different um, cinematics. And the cinematics are quite cool in this. But we haven't missed a great deal. Like I said, all of this was done on Frithgar. We're up to this point. Right? None of what I have done um, hasn't been recorded elsewhere. So fortunately, if I was going to lose a recording session anywhere, this is probably the best one that I could possibly have lost. Now, you've got a scouting map over there. And what you end up doing with the scouting map is you choose where you want to go. Do you want to start off your questing in Stormsong Valley, Tiragard Sound, or Drust Var? On Frithgar, when I did my first series just on here, I did Tiragard Sound, so I've played out all the quests in there already in a series, and I did a few into Stormsong Valley just to top off the, the leveling process. This time, I'm going with Drustvar, and that was where I left things, was I was about to go and go to Drustvar. Um, there has also been a big update. We're on update 8.3. Just going to check my mail. Oh, nice. I listed the flying machine again for 7,500, and we've actually sold it. Look. Flying machine. Negfowl. Purchased it. We lost 375 gold in, our auction house, in the auction house cut. We personally get to take home 7,125 gold. Uh, no, I don't want to press delete. I definitely don't. Seven grand right there. We're now on 9,888 gold. That is pretty fan schmastic. Oh, wow. Holy banger. You asked and the guild members deliver. I suggest a, um, a cooled vault as you might end up getting kicked out of the bank due to fishy business. <laughs> okay, excellent. Holy banger. Um, thank you very much. So we've got some monstrous claw. Where do those come from? Murgle snout, pygmy suckerfish, blood shrimp. Mountain trout, deep sea sage fish, algae fin, rockfish, fathom eel. Pygmy suckerfish, I think those are Northrend items. And the blood shrimp as well. Clever little devils burrow into abyssal clams and devour them from the inside out. Monstrous claw, I'm pretty sure those are dropped. That's an animal drop, that is. Um, right, I will take these. I'll take these items right here. And then I'm going to send this straight off to our character. So I'm going to send off the... Uh, no, no, I'm not going to send that. I'm going to send this off to our food character. So uh, Food Gar needs to have these. We'll send these all to Food Gar because they are all for food, including the Monstrous Claws. Those are also food for Food Gar. Um, I've got 200 Fusaka there, which is a cooking ingredient. I don't think you can eat it on its own, but it is a cooking ingredient. So I'll send that to Food Gar as well, as is the aromatic fish oil. Um, I'll send one of those off to him. And we'll send, we'll send them there. So we've sent those straight away off to Food Gar. I can't believe we sold our flying machine. I, I want to make another one now. It seems like a really cool, like, we, we just keep the flying machines going. So right there, I've got the flying machine. I need, oh, fell iron. Iron, fell iron is expensive. Starwood and elemental blasting powder, not a problem. But the fell iron, that's a little bit more of a tricky one. Fell iron casing right there. I can make four. I need two handful of fell iron bolts right there i can make 12 of them you only get one handful for each one that you make you don't get like two or three so we do we would need a little bit more fell iron if we were to go and do that 
I'm thinking that we could. I'm thinking that would be a good thing to sort of start off with. So we go and get that. We'll, um, and we have access to an auction house. As usual, because we're engineers, we have a steam-powered um, auctioneer that we can go and use. I'm going to run all the way over this way. I'm going to go over to there. Steam-powered auctionator right here. Okay, ignore the lure errors. Um, this is the new auction house interface. It's absolutely wonderful. Okay. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to go cloth right here. Linen cloth. There's 1,538 linen cloth available on here. We've, this is all the cloth items that we've got. Okay. There's moon cloth right there. There's three of them available. This is the various different items that you've got. And you're probably saying, well, so what? That's this, this not anything particularly special. Let's click on the linen cloth here. 599. If I want to buy 599, in the old auction house interface, you would very often find that some bright spark had gone along and listed um, 500 lots at one piece of cloth a piece. And you had to buy every single one. If I want to buy 599 of these, I click on that and then I click buy. That's it. Job done. I'm finished. I'm out of here. If I want to buy, say, uh, how many have I got here? If I want to buy 1,200 of them, that will buy all of those, all of those, and then make up the 1,200 out of that stack right there. It's giving me an average unit price of 13 silver, and I'm paying a total of 155 gold, right? And it will pay. I don't think it gives any bonuses. Like, if I go into here and I just click that lot, I can't deliberately pay more. So I can't pay over the odds. Um... I click on that as well, and then I click on that as well. I'm I'm highlighting all of them. It's going to pay an average of that and 209 gold, and I buy the whole lot. That's how the new auction house interface works, and it's really, really good because when you buy things from the auction house, you get mails with, like, multiple boxes all coming in all at once. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so much faster. It's much easier. It's hugely improved on what it was all around, this is much, much, much better than what it used to be. But anyway, we're not after cloth. We're after fell iron. We're after fell iron ore, to be exact. So if I just click ore on there, or type ore in, look, you, you've got these various different ores in here. True iron ores and Berean leather scraps. And it is because it's got ore right there. 278 ore right here. Now, they are 20 gold a pop, which is a little bit expensive. 4,000 for that. I don't really want to spend that much money. Now, that does seem rather an expensive quantity to go buying. So what we could do is ignore that, because I only need a bit of that. Uh, uh, yeah, there's the star wood and, and the other bit, but I don't need a massive amount. In here is the um, guild bank and everything else. We've got our own guild bank in here. Do we have in crafting material. We've got crafting right here. Has anybody been kind enough to leave behind any fell iron ore? Not today. We don't have any ore by the look of it. Uh, scrolls and recipes in there. Miscellaneous in here. We've got a few pets and stuff. Um, gear is still gear. Potion enchantments. Pet prizes in there. And then we've got big prizes in here. And there's no fell iron ore. I don't think I've got fell iron ore left anywhere else. Hello. In the bank. And we can have a look. Because uh, I think it accesses... Ooh. Ah, no. I've got 12 bars, but I got 49 ore in there. I did wonder if it was only accessing the stuff that was in the reagent bit. But it doesn't. It accesses the whole bank. Right, that's good. I've got a little bit of elemental blasting powder. I can make some of that. That's a good one. We should have enough. With that fell iron ore that I got there, we should have enough to be able to make the entire thing. I'm going to mount my tan riding camel over here, and we're going to go racing up this way. We need to make another one of these flying machines. The, they are absolutely worth it by the look of it. So I'm going to go over here to... There is the engineering trainer, Layla. We are... Uh, hopefully... Have I, have I got the necessaries in here? There's a mailbox there. She's working on that. Got anything else here? Where's the anvil? There should be an anvil here somewhere. Oh, I know what I need. I know what I need. I need to go and get a smelter anyway. Because I need to be able to smelt the fell iron. That's what we're after. Northrend mining outland right there. 
Fell steel. I don't want that. Fell iron. 24. I can smelt 24 fell iron. Come down here close to where the blacksmith is and we got a forge right there. So I will create all 24 fell iron bars right there a minute. And then we can use that to start manufacturing our flying machine. I've actually got my outland mining. I've got a little tiny bit of eternium that I could smelt there. So I've got 12 eternium ore. Don't think I need ore for anything in particular. I just want the bars. So I could smelt those. Though I'm, I'm going to wait because I'm not 100% sure if there aren't any recipes that need um, the eternium ore. So I'll leave that for now. Let's not worry about that. No, I want to go to flying machine over here. So we want star wood, which I need to go and buy from uh, someone that sells crafting reagents. You, you might what even be able to get it from him. Uh, let me browse your goods. You don't have Safe a star wood. Safe passage to ya. Safe passage to ya. Uh, elemental blasting powder. Right there. I need five. That makes four of them there, if I create just one of those with the motes of earth and motes of fire. So I'll make one more lot like that. I've got that. I've now got the elemental blasting powder that we need. Fell iron casings, I need two. Right there, I can make twelve. I will make two of those. I'm not going to be making excessive quantities of anything. I will only make what we need to be able to craft this item. Handful of fell iron bolts. I don't have any fell iron bolts at the moment. I need 20 of them. Unfortunately, that is the one that really does cost. We go like that and create 20 of them. Now, that required 40 and then I needed the two casings which required six bars each, which would be another 12. So I've used a total of 54, uh, 52, sorry. 52, no, 12, 4, uh, wait, yeah, 52, 52 iron ore at 20 gold a piece off of the auction house, there's fell iron ore rather, um, 20 gold a piece off the auction house, we are spending 1,040 golds worth of um, items, plus the primals, which aren't very much, primals are pretty cheap, um, I mean, maybe you could add an extra 100 onto that, the rest of it is pure profit. There we go. Flying machine. I just need the star wood now. We can go and find some star wood. And then we'll be able to make a flying machine. And we can put this one on the auction house. It's not something that we're going to be selling a lot of. Parley. That is not the stuff that anytime. we want to be using. It might be that i got an enchanting trainer. It might be that i got to actually go and speak to my trainer over here. There's a shirt vendor there. I'll go and speak to the trainer a minute. Maybe that is the person that we need. Ahoy. Ahoy. Have you... You don't have it either. Where am I supposed Smooth to get this star wood from? Um... Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Traveling trader. You go over here and speak to him a minute. I have many lucky dudes you like. Simple wood. He's only got simple wood. He doesn't have the star wood. I'll just repair my gear on him uh, a minute. Well, friend of the Grummels. Uh, well, friend of the Grummels. I will go and have a look at the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth, because it might be that we are able to get it from the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth. I don't know if we can or not, so let's uh, mount you a second. Because I've got these two dudes in here. You'll find what you seek. He's got food and drink. And simple wood, plus the drenching Remember the lessons silk ropes. of the past. Ropes. He doesn't have it either. Where am I going to get star wood from? I need the star wood in order to get the last bit. It's, it's just the star wood. I've got everything else. I need that star wood. Who's got the star wood? Well, that's all we got time for at the moment. I'm going to have a little break here in Dalaran from slaughtering demons and get a bit of much needed R&R. &R. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.